What's up comic and pop culture fans? I just got back from the flea market. This is the same flea market that I got my Batman 357 in, which I eventually submitted and got a CGC 9.8 white pages from. So, I kind of like coming to this place. But, the last few times I've been there, it's been a little weak. This time, we struck gold. This first vendor was certainly interesting. They had a mix of 2000s and 90s nothing comics mixed in with like some old war books, but it just everything was not quite enough good enough condition for me to grab. They had G.I. Joe, but it wasn't the keys. You know, they had some cool Valiant covers that homage to, uh, you know, Batman. Some cool stuff, Howdy Doody, Incredible Hulk. I'll tell you one thing though, it was fun to research all this stuff. They had a lot of things that, of comics that were probably forgotten through the years. They did have Justice League and JLA books, but it wasn't great. Some Commandi books, but not Commandi number one, some Karate Kid. Like I said, they had some cool old books, it's just that nothing was crazy. Kind of a small appearance there. I almost bought that. Ended up passing on it they were asking five bucks and i was like you know what give me this for a dollar they didn't do it oh well some interesting stuff in here saw that army of heroes they did have old avengers books but it was nothing this is not nothing that's the first appearance of rogue guys some more trash here there was a little bit of batman early stuff not stuff that you want to get unless it's super super high grade you think it might stand a chance of getting a 9.6 or something get it so, one guy did have some amazing stuff. He had a Amazing Spider-Man 311 signed by Todd. He had a Secret Origins number one. Super cool, super rare. You know, he had World's Finest. This is actually where that slapping Robin meme comes from. But the biggest thing is he had Shazam number one, and I wanted it so bad, but he was asking like a million dollars, and it was only like a 6.5. Alright guys, as you can see, those boxes didn't have that much. In fact, it's pretty much what you'd expect from a flea market. A lot of people with non-bagged and board books thrown into a pot and they're just asking for like 50 bucks just because it's from the 90s. I don't know if you could see in the video, but we got an Avengers Annual Number 10. This is the first appearance of Rogue. And I spent one dollar. Issue is... It's torn to shit. The front cover is practically off. You know, it's like it's like a 2.0 at best. I'm not going to be submitting it to CGC. The condition is just whack. I might end up just uh, giving it away for like 20 bucks or something on my Instagram or something. But it was really cool to get the first appearance of Rogue for $1. From that second box in that video, here I found a web of Spider-Man number one. Spent $4 on this. Not that bad. It's honestly like a 9.2 or a 9.4. I will be submitting this into CGC, so wish me luck. It's a great cover, classic black Spidey suit, and a pretty good flea market find. But it's going to get a whole lot better. Tales of Suspense 97. That is the first appearance of Whiplash. I want my board. For 40 bucks. I think that that's pretty good. Honestly, if I get this pressed, I might be looking at a 7.0, maybe 7.5. I don't think it would hit 8.0, but you, you, you know, you never know. I was just happy to get it. it. It's kind of a rare thing to see, so I thought it was pretty cool. So guys, nothing too crazy, right? So I'm on my way out. I'm like, hey, you know what? I spent like 45 bucks. You know, I got the first appearance of Whiplash. I got the first appearance of Rogue. I got that cool web of Spider-Man. You know, there's been worse things. And this dude comes in, rolling in on his van as I'm leaving, and he starts unpacking, and he's got comics. And I recognize this dude. I've actually bought from him before. So, you know, I wait for him to get his tables done and stuff, and I say to him, hey, you know, what's going on? Are you selling anything good? He said, maybe. And I told him about how I saw a rogue, um, and I got it for $1.00. Uh, and that I also saw that Shazam number one that I really wanted, but the guy was asking like a hundred dollars for it, and it was only maybe a maybe a six point five seven zero, 
And the guy's like, oh, well, I'm selling a Shazam one. I was like, oh, really? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Oh, wait. What's better than one boom? Boom, boom. We got two Shazam number one. I am so glad I didn't spend $100 on that one dude's crappy Shazam one. This guy gave me two of these for 50 bucks for the set. They are possibly 9.0 candidates. One might be like an 8.0, but with some pressing, you never know. The other one could get like a 9.2. So yeah, I told this guy I got the Rogue, and he was like, that's really cool. You want a better one? I said, yeah, I do. Bought the first appearance of Rogue twice in one day. Avengers Annual number 10. This is possibly a 9.2. I'm going to get it pressed, submit it out to CGC. Wish me luck. This dude came through for me. We picked up a Ghost Rider number 2. Um, I actually got that for 20 bucks, and I think it might be heavily in the 9s, possibly even a 9.4, maybe 9.6. So I'm certainly submitting that out to CGC. Wish me luck, guys. I got some really exciting books at the flea market, but honestly, these next two are the ones I'm most excited about. Probably not to you guys, but to me personally. This is the second appearance of Poison Ivy in comics, and it's that first appearance of the Bat Rock. This is like an 8.5, and that is strong for such an early key, well, semi-key issue like this. That's pretty cool. I'm definitely submitting this. Wish me luck. All right, guys, and the last comic I picked up, this is Batman 197. It's not particularly a key issue in any means, but it could easily fetch a 9.0. Whenever I see anything high grade before Batman 250, I have to grab it. That's going to make me so happy. So, two Shazam 1s, a high-grade Batman, a high-grade Batman mi minimum key, the first appearance of Son of Satan, two rogues, one really nice, one not so nice, the first appearance of Whiplash, and Web of Spider-Man number one, all for under $200. Yo, we crushed it, man. We crushed it. There's nothing better than that one flea market trip that pays off. And that truly happened here, guys. So, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be submitting all this to CGC. You'll see it in a while. I get, I get it pressed. It takes forever. But, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and keep on collecting.